While many in the GOP are getting increasingly comfortable advocating for violence, for instance, at the border against migrants or calling for a civil war. In some cases, some Republicans want it to be a little bit more personal than that. So we're gonna turn now to Missouri, where State Senator Nick Schroer has introduced a proposed rule change that would allow senators to settle their differences the perhaps old fashioned way by dueling each other. So here is apparently the write up of it. I, I don't expect that you'll be able to read that. So why don't we zoom in? If a senator's honor is impugned by another senator to the point that it is beyond repair, and in order for the offended senator to gain satisfaction, such senator may rectify the perceived insult to the senator's honor by challenging the offending senator to a duel. A written challenge would be sent to the offending senator by the offended lawmaker's second, the proposal added. Both parties would then agree to the terms of the duel, including choice of weapons. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. We all know the procedure. This is a time honored thing. But anyway, they would be blah, 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 and then they would shoot each other or something. So uh, supposedly, according to the chief of staff for this individual, it was meant to be a metaphor. And he is just deeply committed to restoring a sense of honor in the Missouri Senate by talking about the how cool it would be if we could once again shoot each other. Um, I personally think that we are lacking a lot of respect and dignity and decency in government. And I would love for it to be restored. And I think there are some ways we could do that that don't involve pistols or even fisticuffs. Perhaps get people like Donald Trump and George Santos and Matt Gates and Marjorie Green out of government. If it's a thing that you want to be worthy of dignity and respect, maybe don't put absolute jokes and monsters and con men into government. Don't make government a place where actual problems that people are facing are never discussed and only culture war topics designed to fire up your base. Uh, receive time and attention. Those are some suggestions that might save you a little bit of time and uh, money on ammunition, perhaps. But Brett, what do you think about this? Uh, I do it. I don't care anymore. <laughs> duel. I challenge you to a duel. I want them to get in a smack fight, even if it's not that. I want it to be like like this was a real way to solve problems. <laughs> Back mm -hmm. in the day, there would be a duel. You would shoot the guy and he would either die or be hurt. And that's it. I love it. Bring it back. Mm -hmm. Why not? They're that ridiculous anyway. There might as well be consequences. Yeah. And I look, I don't know this individual. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to know anything else about him in his past or in his future. Please don't ever pop up on my radar again. But it it smacks of that like. Yeah, well, we're the alphas. If necessary, we'll use guns. Because if you impugn my honor, I demand satisfaction and I'm willing to fight you for it. Meanwhile, we will all bow down to Donald Trump, a guy who insults Nikki Haley on True Social, but won't actually go on the debate stage with her. There's this very tenuous relationship with the idea of strong men on the right, where they love the idea of it, but none of the men they worship have any of those qualities whatsoever. It's all aspirational, it's all hypothetical, or perhaps metaphorical to put it in the terms of this gentleman. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.